Jones. My name is Patty. I'm your CNA today. How are you? Good. I need to do catheter care. Is that okay? I'm going to close your curtain, wash my hands, get my supplies, and I'll be right back. Okay, Ms. Jones, I'm going to gather my supplies. I'll start out with a barrier that provides a clean place to put my supplies. And we're going to get four washcloths, a towel, a chucks, a privacy blanket, and now I'll gather my basin and soap. and a set of gloves. All right, Ms. Jones, I'll just get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, would you like to check the water temperature and make sure it's okay? It's good? Good. I'll place the washcloths in there to stay warm. And I'm going to cover you with a privacy blanket. This is going to help protect your privacy and keep you warm while we do this skill. and I'm going to pull your sheet down to about your knees. Okay, Ms. Jones, I'm going to place this pad underneath you. This is going to help keep your bed dry while we do this skill. First, I'll roll it toward me. And place it on the bed. And then I'll put my gloves on. All right, Ms. Jones, can you scoot toward me, please? Thank you. And can you roll onto your left side? One, two, three. Thank you. I'm going to be very careful making sure that the catheter tubing rolls with the patient and doesn't get pulled on. I'm going to unroll the chucks underneath the patient's hip and have the patient come back onto their back, making sure that they don't lay on that catheter tubing. Ms. Jones, can you scoot to the middle of the bed, please? Thank you. Ms. Jones, can you scoot toward me? Thank you. And roll up onto your right side. One, two, three. And now I can unroll the chucks to protect the bed. Come on back, Ms. Jones. And scoot to the middle of the bed. Thank you very much. Okay, now I'm going to start cleaning the catheter. I'm going to roll your gown up inside the blanket. I will be exposing you, but we'll make this as brief as possible. Please let me know if you're uncomfortable. As I roll the gown in the blanket, I want to make sure that I don't grab the catheter, that we don't cause any unnecessary pulling or stress on that catheter. And now we'll cover her thighs with a towel. This exposes only the area that we're working on. I'm going to take the first washcloth and wring it out and apply soap to four leaves. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to clean your catheter. I'm going to hold the catheter where it exits the body, wrap the washcloth around, and wipe away from the body. Fold that leaf over. I'm going to hold it, wrap the washcloth around, and wipe away from the body. That's two. We're going to do this two more times. Away from the body. Three. And the last one. Four. I'll set this washcloth aside. Whenever we wash, we must rinse. So I'll wring this washcloth out, and we'll use it to rinse that catheter the same way we washed. I'm going to hold it where it exits the body, wrap the washcloth around, and wipe away from the body. We'll do this four times. Two, three, 
and 4. Set this aside. Now we'll dry the catheter. Now we're going to do peri care. We'll take a washcloth out of the basin, wring it out really well, and we're going to soak five corners. One, two, three, four, and the back side is five. Okay, now I'm going to clean the peri area. I'm going to lift the catheter up out of the way with my pinky and hold the labia open while I clean down the center with the first leaf. Always going top to bottom and then we'll remove the washcloth and fold that leaf over. Now I'm going to clean down one side of the labia top to bottom, fold that leaf over, clean down the other side of the labia top to bottom, fold that leaf over. I'm going to clean the skin fold between the groin and the leg fold that leaf over and clean the other skin fold between the groin and the leg and then set that washcloth aside. I'm going to take the final washcloth and wring it out really well and we're going to rinse all of those areas the same way that we wash them. So I'll hold that catheter out of the way and spread the labia open cleaning down the center top to bottom. Fold that leaf over, clean down one side of the labia, fold that leaf over, rinse down the other side of the labia Fold that leaf over. We're going to rinse the skin fold. Fold that leaf over and the other skin fold. Set that aside. Now we'll dry gently by patting dry top to bottom and then removing the towel. Ms. Jones, I'm going to cover you back up. I'll unroll that blanket which will replace the gown over the patient. I'm going to make sure that the catheter and the tubing is coiled on the bed, not near the floor, and not where the patient is laying on it, making sure it's not kinked. Ms. Jones, I'll be right back. I need to dispose of your supplies. The towels and washcloth will be placed in dirty linen. The basin is going to be clean the way we clean everything else. We'll return the basin to the drawer and on the way we'll pick up the soap. We'll open the drawer with the paper towel and return the basin to its storage area. Now I'll dispose of my paper towels. Okay, Ms. Jones, I need to remove the chucks from under you. Can I get you to scoot toward me, please? Thank you. And can I get you to roll up on your left side? One, two, three. Thank you. I'll roll this soiled chucks toward the patient and tuck it under her hip. Come on back, Ms. Jones. And scoot back to the middle, making sure the patient is not laying on that catheter tubing. Okay, Ms. Jones, can you scoot toward me again, please? Thank you, and roll up on your right side. And I'm gonna remove that chucks from the bed. Okay, you can scoot back to the middle, thank you. This is going to be thrown away. Okay, Ms. Jones, let me just look at your catheter one last time. Make sure that the catheter tubing is coiled on the bed, that the catheter is not on the floor. Everything looks good. I'm going to remove the chucks from the table, and we're going to throw this away, and then I'll remove my gloves. We'll throw those away. Okay, Ms. Jones, I'll pull your sheet up now. And I'll remove the blanket as I do so, rolling it into a ball. You put this in dirty linen. Okay, Ms. Jones, here's your call light. If you should need anything, just let me know. Are you comfortable? Can I get you anything while I'm here, like a magazine? I'm just gonna open your curtain and wash my hands. After washing my hands, I'll think about the steps of my skill, make any corrections that need to be made, and then tell the evaluator my skill is done.